Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. In today's video we will go through how to set up a Modbus client connection between a Schneider M221 PLC and a Siemens S7-1200 PLC using Modbus TCP IP protocol. The Schneider PLC will be used as the client, and the Siemens PLC as the server. In Schneider Machine Expert we want to make sure that no application protection is active that can prevent communication. In the Configuration tab we want to click on the Ethernet port of the PLC. Here we can set an IP address to the PLC, and we also have to check the Ethernet security parameters. We then want to go to the Modbus TCP tab. Here we want to type in the IP address of the Modbus server we gonna use, then click on Add. I am using a Siemens S7-1200 PLC as the server, so I will name it Siemens PLC. Next we want to go to the Programming tab. Here we want to add a write variable function block to the programming rung. If we hover the mouse on the function block a configuration menu will pop up. Here we want to change the link to Ethernet port 1. And on the ID is which Modbus ID we want for the client, I will go with ID number 1. The timeout I will leave just as it is at 100. Object type I will also keep as it is, since I want to write multiple words to my Siemens PLC. First object is the first Modbus holding register address it should write to, and quantity is for how many addresses it should write. I want to start from the first address and write 10. The holding register address in the Modbus protocol starts at 40,001. So to write 10 addresses it will write up to address 40,010. Index data means which address in machine expert we want to write from. So if I choose 40 here it will write from memory word bit 40 up to memory word bit 49. Next we want to add input and output bits for each of the function block's pins. We also need an address for each input and output. I will just give them the memory bit 80 up to 84, and memory word 80 to the error output since it's a word output. I will also make some simple programming to the PLC. I will add two push buttons to the PLC. One red button that I will use to execute the request to send my holding registers. And one blue button that will move a value of 80 if I push once, or a value of 0 if I push twice to one of my holding register tags. Last thing to do is to go to the commissioning tab and download everything to the PLC.
In TIA Portal I already made a project with my PLC added to the Devices and Networks view. If we click on the PLC's Ethernet port we can change the IP address if we want to. What's important is that the IP address is in same subnet range as the client. Next we want to double click on our PLC and go to the Protection and Security tab. If we scroll down a bit in this setting we will find a box that we need to make sure is checked that says permit access with put get communication from remote partner. If we then open up the main block, I have already set up a Modbus server to this PLC. I am just gonna show briefly how to do it in this video but if you want to know more in detail how to set up a Siemens PLC as a Modbus TCP server, I will leave a link in the description below to my other tutorial. I also added so that if my first for Modbus tags receive a value above 50, it will turn on the PLC's output 0 to 3. In my connect tab for my Modbus server I have added my Schneider PLC IP address and also set this PLC ID to 1. In Machine Expert I also want to add an animation table to make it easier to keep track of the signals. To do so we right click on Animation Tables and add a new table. Then I will add all my 10 memory word tags to it. I am now online and monitoring both the Schneider and Siemens PLC. If I now press my blue push button once I will add the value 80 to memory word 40. If I then press my red button it will execute and make a request to the Siemens PLC and it will receive the value to its first Modbus address and output number 0 will turn on. And now if I press once more I will give the memory word the value 0. And then execute again to turn off the output on the Siemens PLC. I can also do it all manually from the program. I will set some different values to my tags, then trigger my execute from the program. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe.